No, you want to see in the box score how they scored, whether it was a pass or run, right. how many yards. Falmouth has got a good team this year. Who? Falmouth. They yeah. beat uh, Dennis Yarmouth, 46 to 22. Yeah. Bourne has got a good team this year. Who? They they beat Fairhaven. Bourne beat Fairhaven, 47-19. Wow. So both Bourne and Falmouth are tough this year. Wow. Abington, a team that we could face in the playoffs, they uh, they dominated Hull, 47 to 20. Mashby won another close and beating Cohasset 27-23. So Mashby, Mashby has back-to-back -back close ones. They beat Abington last week 21-20, yep. and they beat uh, Cohasset this week 27-23. So the Division uh, 7 South Clearance. Yeah, they're still... They got a uh, two-year uh, winning streak, oh, again, with the last team that beat them two years ago this time in the middle of October. Wow. West Fridgewater bounced back with a big win over Upper Cape. I, I don't think Upper Cape is that strong. They beat him 33-14. Yeah, we're about to uh, go to the second half. We're gonna, we'll, we'll be looking to, for uh, a lot of substitutes for the Wales. I, I would hope and I would guess that there'd be a whole second unit in there and you, you keep them in there you keep them in there you know run the football run the run the football yeah. keep the clock you don't have to throw the ball anymore you don't have to kick the ball anymore you just you run the play let some of the younger kids get some action and uh, we'll, we'll see what they do in the third period I one of my favorite games that I remember over at Cape Tech about 20 25 years ago uh, right. In those in those days, Cape Tech I know what you're gonna talk was about. not a very competitive, and Nantucket had a lead like this at halftime, and uh, they put well, it was 50, it, it, my son Rick was playing in it, so it was it was like 94, 5, 96, and uh, Cape up, Tech Cape Tech 28 points, 28 points, and all of a sudden it's like 35 <laughs> to to, to uh, 31, and Vio still want to bring that first team back in. And Nantucket did win the game, but it was uh, just close. very close. I remember that game. <laughs> very well. Vito, I th you think it's time to put the guys back in? <laughs> no. 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 We, we, got, we, we got the control of this game. Vito was ready to light his pipe up. In those days, you can light your pipe up on the sideline. <laughs> Gino's been lighting those cigars with the Bears. The Bears. Oh, yeah, here we go. You guys are bringing, it, bringing up some good memories. Looking forward to my lunch. Smoking those cigars Woo. with the Bears. You bring cigars too now when the Bears win. No, if the Bears win, you're going to bring cigars. You'll be the one celebrating. Oh, I see. That's true. Face it, and no matter what happens, you're not going to win. <laughs> You can win. You can win for losing. <laughs> All right, second half kickoff, and who gets the ball? But Nantucket. Nantucket's got the ball. Let's see if they got back deep. Dick. You got the numbers? Looks like Ash is right in the middle to me. They may try an onside kick here, Dennis. No, they probably kick it long on the ground. Yep. Yeah, the onside kick, but I think Nantucket uh, figured that out too. Yeah. Ball recovered by number 53 for Nantucket. Well, first team's in there, Dennis. First team in there? First team is in there. So let's see what they're going to run. Right at midfield, the Wills will take over here in the second half. Well, they're going to throw it. Wow. Caught by Bartlett. All right, Bartlett on the reception. First yeah, play. Plenty of uh, choices there. Yeah, they just uh, spread everybody out, threw the ball down the field. Nobody uh, was covering anybody. So they're... Uh, 
They're going, they're going for it, Dennis. They're not taking their foot off the pedal here. I can see that. So big 20, that was a 25 yard pickup to Bartlett. Downey up the middle, he doesn't make much. Second and 10. Those halftime stats were brought to us by Harbor Fuel. Got you covered all season. Harbor Fuel oil burner service, 24-7. We're always on call. We install, service, and maintain all brands of burners. Harbor Fuel. So second and 10 after the no pickup on the run up the middle. And he fumbled. He fumbled the ball, and I think Nantucket might have recovered it. Definitely a loss there, right? Corbett, yep. Corbett recovered it, but uh, it goes as a four-yard loss, so bring up third and 14. We're in the third period here. Homecoming weekend winding down. Crowd is still here, though, Dennis. Nobody has left. I wonder if they're doing a 50-50. I, I was no. thinking about that. Though. They didn't yeah. even mention it. I, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a lot of money, a lot of money on the table for 50-50. Yeah. Yeah, Why don't they do that anymore, Dick? Well, part of it is you, you got to get some people to sell the tickets. It, it's hard getting the volunteers, you know, the parents or the, the friends of the booth club and so forth. Yeah. Wow, it, it, yeah, yeah. It, it is. That's well, sad. But Sorry. I mean, look over the booth. How many people are working in the booth over there? So they're certainly making money selling. Uh, concessions and uh, so forth. But if you had a couple more people to walk around and sell 50, hey, maybe they, maybe they the did camera it. camera dick, you know I'd be selling tickets. Maybe they did it on the other or, side. No, there. actually I'd be uh, Wally well, the... Uh, you know, you can get out selling tickets. I'll run the camera. Yeah, Dennis can do the camera. I know, I want to be Wally the, the whaler. <laughs> Downey up the middle on a draw. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at the speed. Whoa. Downey for 37 yards. Wow. Keegan Downey, wide open, big giant hole, why not? Right up the middle he went. All right, so we're gonna kick the extra point. Bartlett is, uh, is what, six for six, Dick? Uh, four for four in extra points, two for two in field goals, right. So Nantucket, uh, that's just about ice's, well not that it was in doubt, that just ices the game. Ooh, yeah, I, think I think he missed, missed that one. He did. He did. He did. Wow. Mm. So the teams come up here, Nantucket 40, Mortimer 6. That touchdown was brought to us by Keeper's Rest from 5 Amelia Drive. Check them out. Keepers, 228-0009. So, uh, well, if you, if you said to the uh, first team, all right, you got one series in the second half. Yeah, I know. That's in the books. We'll, we'll find out. We'll see if a uh, first, I mean, first, def play. first defense comes out. You, uh, you get, the, get the younger kids in there and let them play some defense, too. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Here's the on Nantucket. On Nantucket, on Nantucket, drive on the Join in anytime you want, Dennis. Dennis does not sing. I don't know if you knew that or not. I sing in the shop. What about uh, he sings at church? I see him at karaoke. I see him at church singing. Oh, he likes he likes the Ave Maria. Oh, you yeah. should hear Dennis. Ave Maria. Do you really go to church though, Dennis? I don't. I never see you there. I never <laughs> see you there. Really, Gino. Gino. When do you go, Gino? <laughs> I don't. I don't go to church. 
I see Gino holding up. I see Gino holding up the hub. I know you're praying for when I'm, when yeah, I'm going when I'm going in to say a prayer for Gino. Gino's sitting in front of the hub, drinking a uh, deluxe double coffee of some sort. All right, here we go. We'll uh, still have, I think, their first defense. Here. Yeah, looks that way. Oh. oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he is. He is the starting tackle. Yeah. So it's a two-yard loss, making it second and twelve. Again. Stopped at the line. A little bit of room there, but he only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe gets back to the original line. Yeah, it's just the line of scrimmage. Picks up nothing, so it's going to be third and 12. Robbie Hickman, line uh, attack. A couple of puppy dogs don't see eye to eye with each other. Green pass. He might have gotten a couple, but maybe not. Gambroni on the start. Gambroni, nice tackle there. Hit him down low and took him right down. We got a what, fourth, fourth down. down. They're not going to punt it again. Fourth and seven. They are not going to punt it again. They Nice arm. Right there, baby. Usher. Oh my gosh, what a game that kid had. Rocky Usher. Wow. There's a flag down all. I was just about I was just about to say that Dante Husher had the uh, double hat trick, but uh, they're going to call that one back. He already has one on a kickoff return, a punt return, and a running. But they're going to they're take away the interception. What's the rule, Dick? You're going to run the ball carriers ahead of you. What are you supposed to do? Lay off them. Lay off. No There's block. No either. block. Oh right. They do it at all levels. Yep. They do it. The kids get over it. What? What? what especially at this level, and, and you see it. You see it in college, and anybody who wants to want a pro, is that one of your teammates is so excited that you're running the ball that he wants to become part of the play. And he wants to get in the stat sheet. Well, he gets himself in the stat sheet with a 15-yard penalty, and you take away Usher's touchdown. There he goes. Again. Add that to the list. How many is that? That's about seven, right? Seven more there, yeah. Let's see. Maybe eight. Maybe not. Go nine, Dick. What do we got? Well, counting the the, the uh, interception return yardage, he's up to 247. You count that yardage? Yeah. Well, it's penalty, penalty, if we want to, yeah, all right, well, we're, on our unofficial total, we'll add it on. Well, you don't want to add the penalty stuff on. You add what he got credited for, which is about 25 yards. He, he lost about 25 yards. It was about a 50-yard return Nine for a touchdown area. if it Four. stood. Clock is running for 37. Third period. Archie catches it, fights for a couple of yards. Wow, that is that's that's impressive. Archie catches it and fights for a couple of yards. Longmore had him well covered that time. Yeah. Nowhere to go. 
And he's going out. And now she's being taken out. 80 came in for him. Yeah, that would be uh, Jared. Uh, so we got new okay. guys in? Not entirely. He's the first, I think. Jared O'Connor Jr. Look at that. Good run. Wow. Gambroni is back there. Gambroni gets it. What? That, that was gutsy. Gambroni runs nice it run. in from 12 TD. yards out. TD's got a, uh, Gambroni's got a second TD. That touchdown brought to us by Island Lumber. We cover the islands for over 50 years. Lumber, millwork, masonry, supplies. Island Lumber, one Pulpus Road. To, to six. six. Now, do we have any viewers left? That's the question. Yeah. Before, before the game, Dennis, we were talking, Please. and I mentioned last year's scores 55 to six and wow. 61 to six. And I thought to myself that they would never get close to that this year. And here we are, same position, got a whole quarter to go. Right now, the clock is running. If. Uh, Nantucket's not going to take their foot off the pedal, the officials are. Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah. well, and, and they should. What do you, what do you mean? Well, the, the clock is running. Get the clock running. They oh, let the I clock see. run. They let it run. Oh, yeah, right. Of course. So it'll be a quick fourth quarter because they won't... Are they allowed the... to do that, Dick? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they have, they have rules. You don't want to get them in trouble. Do no, 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 no. This is... This is not the Supreme Court, Gino. This is a high school, uh, high school football uh, game. Obviously, with a mismatch, Gino, you, know, you want to get the game over as quick as possible. Right. To you avoid know. injuries, right. Right, that's good, too. And you also want to see the younger kids. Well, it looks like the, young, the younger kids are in there on the kickoff here now. So we should see a younger defense. Shouldn't we see younger kids everywhere now? We should see young kids yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all as coaches, would you? All the, as coaches, I'd have, I would not have one starter in this game any longer, no. And I would have done a little bit earlier. Mm. Make it interesting, you know? Well, yeah. The, the, the parents that come to see these games Sure. They, exactly. they, want to, they want to see their kid. Of course they do. If, if yeah. the score is lopsided. If you, if you have a kid, yeah, if you have a kid, as Dennis is saying, if you have a kid on the second team and the score is 14 to 13, you, you expect maybe not to see your son play. But when you have a kid on the second team and the score is 47 to 6, you expect to see him. Yeah, he, he practices every day, he works hard. You bet. Yeah. So, so what are we seeing? Well, I see Usher still out there. Nice throw. Oh. Got it. Yeah, he did. But he was down. He missed it. He didn't catch it. McVicker and Pollock are chasing him, so we don't have it. We don't have a second defense in there. Pass is incomplete. Incomplete pass. So it's going to bring up second and ten. Forty seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Clock did stop on the incomplete pass. Now they wind it up. The completed pass. Right on the reception. The 
Clean it up. On the stop of the whalers. Tackle was made. There's a, there's a backup in there. Justin Boyce is in there. He made that tackle. And they just took McVicker and uh, Pollock out, so they got some new interior linemen and the linebackers in there. Oh, yeah, that's the end of the quarter. So we have played three quarters here at Vito Capizzo Stadium. Your Nantucket wheel is 47 to 6. So Nantucket will go to. 3-2, and 3-0 and oh in the league. They win the Mayflower Comprehensive League, so that means they're in the tournament. Right now, they're... Girls soccer. Oh, they girls wow. soccer wow. shut out Mon M Vineyard today. I think 3 to nothing. I think oh. he said. But the third straight that shutout... girls soccer? That's girls what he said. Soccer. Third straight shutout, yeah. Do you know what how good the boys' soccer team is this year, though? Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Of course you're you are. I, I was with you, Gino, the other day. Remember? What is it? Let's let the people know how good they are. Boys' soccer is seven and zero, depending on what today's outcome was. Yes. I haven't heard it. And they were outscoring the opponents forty-three to one. Imagine that, Dennis. One goal that let up all year. Scored on these kids. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. But yes, the girls, the girls are yeah. just won their third in a row, third shutout in a row. So they're up to uh, and that's Phil seven and two. Phil Taylor. We I enjoyed working with Phil Taylor the other day. Yeah, that he, was a good game. He had a, uh, fun. Dennis, you, you should have been there, Dennis. What? Phil Taylor has a better accent than I have. <laughs> he has an English accent. Yeah, that's right. Oh, wow. I, was, I would say, what did you say, Phil? I was having a hard time picking it up. A lot of room there. Let's see if the quarterback that. takes that. off. He tries to spin move, but yeah. Nantucket yeah. makes the tackle. Bottom on the stop of the lid. And they're going to let this clock... We got young kids in there yet? No. All second unit in there, as far as I can tell. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no. J Gambrini is still in there. All right, not a, not a full second unit, no. Osh is still in there. So he hasn't, uh, hasn't found his backup safety yet. Oh, nice patent. He found the... Uh, Found the hole in the zone, but the uh, quarterback could not get the ball to him. So the Red Sox, huh? Red Sox tonight. First pitch tonight in about an hour, or oh, actually an hour and 15 minutes. It's 8.15 tonight. Yeah, they uh, they held on last night. Three run home in the first inning. Got them out of the gate. Then they scored two in the third, five to nothing. But then... Uh, the Yankees uh, bullpen shut them down, yeah, and uh, yeah. that's that's a little bit scary. That's a little bit scary. They they shut them down for the next uh, five plus innings. The Red Sox bullpen coughed up a couple. Price has a good night. Uh, Price has never beaten the Yankees, as far as I know. Well, Chris uh, Chris Sale won his first playoff game last night. If you remember last how many, year, how many games have been in the playoffs? Last year, I think, was his first. I don't okay. think he got in with the White Sox. Like yeah, one. yeah, yeah. He uh, he got beat up by Houston last year on well, the road. Price has, been Price has been in there a lot, not only for us, but for other teams. And uh, he needs, he needs to, uh, his track record with us against the Yankees is horrible. It's, it's almost like uh, if I was to coach Gino, I'd say, Price, you're not starting today. Dennis Karen, you're starting. Oh, right. yes. I'll put Dennis in. Yes. All right. <laughs> I, think Dennis, Dennis I think Dennis could... Get the fastball over the corner, get Judge out of there, strike out Judge. And Big strike zone, throw him the 12-6 curveball there. No, t t what about tonight, tonight, Japanese, tonight is the Japanese guy. The Japanese guy is uh, shut down for the year. What do you mean? He's having, uh, I don't know how to say it in Japan, he's having Yami Jai surgery. Is that how you say it? Oh, he's not in tonight? I thought he was... Who's, who's, who's Yankees pitcher? Oh, oh, you're talking about that. I thought you were talking about the one that played for the no, Yankees. No, no, Tanaka's no. pitching tonight. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, Yankees, yeah, Yankees got good starters. Good stuff, they have they good do. starters. You, you got Tanaka. You got uh, who? You got tomorrow night. Uh, Severino. Severino, and then you got the uh, the, the big lefty there. Uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah. So they they got, Yankees got good starters. They got, they're a tough team. They won a hundred games. Uh, they're they're, they're tough. It. 
Love the Yankees. I love it when Boston plays the Yankees. It's the best in baseball. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be an all out if we're gonna win it. Oop, oop. He could have called that and he did. He's offside. It was a free play. I, for I us. watched the uh, I watched the, the uh, Milwaukee Brewers and Colorado Rockies play. That's the fans in Milwaukee are rabid. Every pitch. Yeah, they, they're, 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 they're on their feet, clapping and yelling. Oh, that's. Uh, we we didn't call that play, Dennis. We got to recall it. The pass was Borden to Borden. This put that one what? in you. Put that one in you. Borden caught it. Number thirteen. The quarterback the is the phone and his brother. His brother. Mackey Oh, nice. When is the hey, last that's time? Justin out there, right? Our quarterback. Just, Justin's number one. Good. Good to see. When is the last time? I, that, that's a good one to put in your memory box. I'm going to throw that out to the Wirral fans. The last time that a brother threw it to a brother. Someone's got to tell that's me. That's a good, me good. That's a good trivia question. Yes. So all you trivia people, if you can think of when a brother threw it to a brother. Did the silver? Did the silver? Uh, I don't think either Gary or Glenn threw the ball. Unless it was a halfback. Pack. Glenn was at fullback and Gary was the halfback. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that runner. Whoa, number 40. Is that a TD? He gets yeah, in. Wow. Kennard Lybert. Lybert, the sophomore. Whoa. We saw He's him in the J We saw him in the JV That's game. Right. Remember he had a good, good JV he game? Did. There he is on the big stage scoring. What's it about a thirty? Yeah, it's about a thirty. So that's that's what a game like this is all about. When you get these younger kids in and they perform well. Yes. And uh, Libra took it to the house that time. What a run! And then we Will's score goes up to fifty-three to six. Walk is running. And Justin's going to do the extra point kick in there, Gino. Just, Justin, uh, Justin, Justin, Justin lives in my neighborhood. He's a, he's a good athlete. He's a good kid. He's always been a good kid. This extra point brought to us by the Seagull. Way to go for great fish and excellent seafood. All the locals go, the Seagull, bringing you this extra point. Locked. Locked. Monomoy could have picked that up and run it back. That would have been exciting. Yeah. So with 6.40 to go, Nantucket has got it up to 53 to 6. And this, wow. this is unbelievable. Last year beat him 55 to 6, 61 to 6, and now we're ahead 53 to 6. And we could get up to 61 because the way this uh, second unit is playing, they could get the ball back and uh, score again. The crowd's not going home early though. The no, stands are still packed. Still, yeah. Everybody's got a line around the fence. I feel bad for the few parents over here to our left that came out, came over on the yeah, boat with Monomoy. That that has to be uh, it's tough. tough to tough to sit through that. Uh, Monomoy, keep your heads up, keep fighting. That's all you can say. Yeah, I mean they're going to get better. I mean there's no doubt. Again, they're, they're trying to. It's a new situation. They're, they're trying to fit two towns together into a football program. It, it takes time. Remember when the, uh, all, of, all these vocational schools started there? Yeah, Nantucket, Nantucket always did well in the, the old Mayfall League. <coughs> Going against Bristol, Plymouth, Blue Hill, Southeast, uh, but the, but Cape the vocational Tech. schools have matured now. And they're, they're getting different kids and so on and so forth. Now they're tough. Uh, the Southeastern game is going to be a tough game for Nantucket. Nantucket's got two tough games after this one. If they want to make it into the first uh, round home game situation, get that fourth seed. They got to beat Boston Latin on the road and Southeastern on the road. That's going to be a tough task for the Wheels. It certainly is. Another first tonight, Dennis. Yeah. Nantucket's first home victory for Coach Joe Perry. Oh yeah, here we go. He That's lost. He, he opened the season with those tough losses to uh, 
Nash being Cohasset. Well, that's another then, good trivial. Then he went on the road to win two. So this is his first home victory. Joe Perry, who played for the great Vito Capizzo, now is coaching at Vito Capizzo Stadium. Really, right in there. It was gun right in there. Nice throw. Yeah, I'll And you see. That was number 40 who tackled him again. Yeah, and the floor, that's live room. And that receiving the pass was number what, 36? Mortimer. He was a tall kid, yeah. Pulled it in nicely. Jason Reedy. That's almost a lateral. Well. <laughs> Excuse me. Swing pass to Zach Parker. <clears throat> the danger with the swing pass is that it's almost a lateral. I thought that was a lateral, but he hauled it in and looked like he might have had a chance to break it down the sideline, but Nantucket that converged on him, got him out of bounds. There, look at all that room. Oh, but then he's got his man. Wow, there you go. Nice. He can throw the ball on yeah. the run. Yeah, he can nice. Throw the ball to run, moving to the left. Yeah, that's a hard pass for Kip Amir. Nice tackle there. Was that 20 that made the tackle? Number 20 for the attacker. Or, or, or was that 80? I couldn't cast. Who's yeah. that? Who's the right oh, corner oh, then, Stanley? Nice. Can you see his number? Is that 80? Okay. I think it's 80 or corner. Yeah, that's a corner. Yeah, yeah. a corner. Nice tackle. Saved the touchdown. I think somebody was calling timeout. And we got a player coming in, a player going out. I think I call the timeout to make a substitute. So we're down to what, five minutes five, left? About five minutes left, yeah. Yeah, we got to start thinking about our three stars, Dennis. I've already got mine. Oh, wow. This guy's on the ball. Well, you know. Oh, he scored. I didn't even wow. 16 took it in. Dennis got here early, Gino. He got me my rosters, my uh, stats. He's right on the ball today. I, I get tied up before the game, right? At, yeah, right after I talked to you this morning. Right, well, right after, right after I talked to you this morning, right after I talked to you this morning, and the, uh, the radio station called me and asked me if I would sit in for 15 minutes for the pregame show. So. Nobody that knows got, football like Dick Herman. No, no, That's no. Right. That got me uh, tied up. So I had, to, I had to lend my knowledge Dennis to us, two, Sandy Beach. <laughs> going for two. Going for eight. For two. So. And they get in there for two points. That's going to make it 53 to 14. All right. A little better. All right, Dick, we, what are we going to do this? Uh, are you ready to go? Yeah, I got my, my three, so. You got your three, huh? All right. I'll go first, so you go first. Oh, Dick, you go first. I'll go first, all right. My number three star is going to go to uh, Cam Bartlett. Two field goals, five extra points, uh, three or four receptions. Played three or four tackles, uh, a little bit of everything. I always try to get a lineman in there. I'm going to get one of the captains, senior, Chance Pollock. Played him in the ball. Lineman don't get a lot of uh, publicity, but uh, Chance did some uh, good blocking and made some uh, tackles. And you got to go with uh, Devontae Usher. I have him for three, uh, three touchdowns, 65 yarder on a uh, punt, an 80 yard on a kickoff, a 16 yard on a run, and he had a 50 yard call back on an interception. Uh, he had something like, if you add up all his yardage, it adds up to like 292 unofficially. That's, uh, that's adding on the interception and everything, which you don't normally do, but I did it. I can do it, I'm up here. <laughs> 
So those are my three styles, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, well, I think you copied off my paper. I copied off your paper. I think you did. All right. Dick. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be wishy-washy like the Senate there and go back and forth. I just put my three out there, and I'm sticking to it. Chance Pollock was my number three star. Oh wow! And Chance, I thought he had played a great game on defense and uh, opened a few holes for the running backs. So he did a great job. Uh, number number two star was Cameron Bartlett. He had, he had, he also Cameron caught a couple of passes. There. So you know that, that all that, round all yeah, round game. Great game for him. And of course, the number one star is Devontae Usher, and uh, he, he also had a great game on defense. So congratulations to the uh, winners. Yeah, it's amazing how. Uh, how similar we are on our picks. Here's a nice run by a freshman. You got it. Ghana Ray. Was that number, who, which number was number that? Number 18. 18. Number 18. He's a little guy, boy. Yes, he turned he around the right. corner, made a, Didn't picked we up see seven. him in the JV game? Yes, we did. All these guys out there we saw in the JV we enjoyed game. enjoyed that. Okay. Ghana Ray. Maybe we'll pick up another JV game in November, yeah. Okay. After the, uh, after the soccer and, and yeah. uh, volleyball and everything's over. Uh, JV's continue to play on a Monday. There should be another Monday game, maybe the second or third week in November. We'll pick it up. I don't think the Vineyard has a JV game team, so I don't. Oh, I don't really, not this year. I don't think. I don't think we'll do oh, two games yeah. on the Island Cup day, but uh, yeah. maybe we can do one just before the Island Cup. Yeah. What a shame. Oh, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. They don't have a JV. Maybe. Looking forward to the uh, game when they realign the yeah. teams this year. This year will be the, the last year of the the Island Cup in the format it's in, playing on the last game of the year. Nice run up the middle. Mm -hmm. And, you know, next year's schedule is going to be different. With the uh, formation of the Cape and Islands, Vineyard becomes a league game, so you're going to play the Vineyard like week six or seven like this. And Nantucket usually plays the uh, Vineyard on the uh, the last weekend, which is the 11th game. They may not have an 11th game next year. Yeah, probably not. It'll probably just be a 10-game schedule because Chris Murray is saying, "Oh, we'll we'll pick up somebody. Who's who's going to want to play a game on before, on, on the Saturday before no, Thanksgiving?" There will be nobody. There, there will be nobody. So it looks like unless. The format you're in now is you have a seven-game schedule, yep. and some teams, some leagues play all seven within their league. You got to have 18 leagues to do that. The Cape and Islands are not going to have that, so Nantucket will have to pick up some non-league games. Hopefully, they'll still keep a mash being on pass it on their schedule and play teams like that. Possibly a uh, a southeastern. I don't know if you play a, a Boston Latin. Maybe they will want to come down here. Well, it may be a two-year commitment. Yeah. Well, this year it was uh, it was the uh, a one year pickup because Sacred Heart gave up football in April, so he yeah. just went out looking for anybody, and, and Boston Latin answered the call. Matthew Bogle is a ball carrier, freshman. He got first down. So the Whalers are definitely using the young guys now. That's, good. That's the way it should be. I, I like that. It makes me happy. 53 to 14, get the young guys in there. And you're seeing the young guys playing very well here. Yes, they are. And this is library. Ooh. That play was snuffed That was yeah. in, you know, you got to use a lot more speed. Justin hands it off to Ray. Yeah. Justin hands it off to Ray. Ray didn't Just get the running room this slow. time. You got to be very fast when those things happen. Clock is moving. 135 left. I got my bike service down at Young's Biker Shop, and uh, Justin was working down there this summer. He was? Yeah. Fixing him? I don't know what he was doing. I just saw him in there. I don't think he was fixing it. He there he goes again, Dick. Library. He's a little powerhouse. Whoa. Drag down. <laughs> if, we were, yeah. if we were giving. Four stars, yeah, Dennis. Exactly. He Get would be down. my number four star, That's right, right there. That's right. That's right. I was just thinking. That. <laughs>
Well, Dick, he's nice. the future. Right you can there. do it. You can do it, Dick. I, 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 you know, how many years have you been in the all right, all right, Gino, new thing. Yeah. Four stars for this game. Okay. Liber, it's number four. Right. See, we did it. Now, why did you pick <laughs> Liber? He can do whatever he wants here. Huh? Why did you pick Liber? He got the run there for the touchdown. He got the second oh, one. Oh, yeah, he's a, he deserves it. You don't think so? Yes. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. Pootie, who's your? Who's all right? Who's your? We say why? <laughs> we, we think he deserves to be a star. Who's your fourth star? Who's my fourth star? Who's your fourth Ooh. star? Let's put the ball in your court. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Let's put the ball this is in your getting court. interesting now. <laughs> Number thirteen. Number thirteen is your fourth star. Mackey Bones. Mackey. Okay. He caught a pass from his caught brother. A, caught a pass from his brother. And the big trivia nice go. Run over here. The big trivia big question out there again is when did a brother throw to his brother last in a wheel of football game? I, I'm gonna go with Alamadoba to Alamadoba. Bo Bo to Dan Boy. Well, that's it. Wow. That's it. Game is over. Game is over. So Nantucket goes to three and two. Nantucket clinches the league. And uh, everything is all right in the world of Whale of Football. Yeah, that's the third state uh, as, victory for the Whales. As they've won three in a row and they got them uh, they got, got, the, got the championship. So they're in the tournament. That means the uh, week eight will be a tournament game. Right now, when I was talking to Chris Murray this week, they were seated seventh at that point with his math. They, they haven't put the official standings out. They might get them out in the paper next week. We don't know. So if but they were seated seven, seventh. They'd go on the road. road. Yeah. you got to be one through four to get a home game. Right. If you're seated seventh, you got to go on the road. If you go on the road, you play a, a two, which could be Cohasset or Abington. Abington. Yep. If you get seated eighth, you go on the road and you go to Mashby. That would be a, a difficult test. Well, but that's that's down the way. Yeah, we so we'll, last year. We, can, we did well in Mashpee. Yeah. So anyways, uh, Nantucket will be on the road the next two weeks. Boston Latin next week. That's a 2.30 start. Uh, the following week, uh, they're southeast. I think that's a 3.30 or 4 o'clock start. So, uh, well, Gina, congratulations for the league championship. and. Uh, Gina's got a gleam in his eye. He's thinking of going to Boston next week, but that, that, we may be there. We don't know. I was thinking about it. I'd love to go to Boston. Boston, Latin, I'd love to see that. Well, let's do it. Okay. Okay. So, Channel we'll talk about it. 99 will be there. Dennis and Gina will at least yeah, be there. Did, I, don't did, know, I don't know if I'll be there. You got any family in Cambridge anymore? I, got, I, I have a lot of uh, people up that way. <laughs> oh, my people will talk, my people will talk to you. How are you going to learn how to, how to get there? <laughs> You just you get Google Maps on you. You hit you hit White Stadium. Oh. Hit White Stadium. You cross your fingers. Is that, is that the one near the airport? No, no, no. That's East Boston Stadium. All right. So we thank Gina for televising today. We thank Gina for thinking about going to next week's game. We thank Dennis for calling today's game. This is Dick Herman saying good night for Wither Sports TV. TV 99 on your dial. Check it out. Remember to put a smile on your face each and every day, even if you're laughing at yourself. Look at the hat. Go Red Sox tonight. Go Patriots. Go Wheelers. Go Wheelers. And go the Bears. Yeah, baby. The Bears. Go the Bears. They, how many losses do they have? They're three and one. Three and one. Yeah. Whoa, this is Gino. Serious. <laughs>